Hello, you sexy biscuits. <gasps> Face cam. Oh my god. Okay, so today I got something in the mail. <laughs> I'm going to go through everything that is inside here with you right now. I'm so excited to open this. Now, I have already taken all the sellotape off, and I did take the top item out, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, so this is the Kingdom Come Deliverance hoodie. I am so happy with this. I mean, just look how nice this is. So the inside material is really nice. It's got this kind of fleecy material, but I really like on top, it's actually got the Warhorse logo. That is so cool. Okay, so now to delve into the unknown because I haven't seen anything else. Oh my god. Okay, all right. So first up, we have these Kingdom Come Deliverance stickers. Oh my god, I'm going to be sticking these everywhere on my cat, on my bum. Oh my god, they're going to be all over my house. Okay, I'm, I'm delving into the box because I can't see what's in here. Okay, next up we have the Sasau Region Guide. Tracing the footsteps of Henry from Kingdom Come Deliverance. The Central Bohemia Tourist Board. Oh my god, okay. Central Bohemia Region. So this is, from what it looks like, is it like a fake tourist guide? Oh my god, that's incredible. Okay, so yeah, it has the whole history of the start of the game. Uh, and it even has small bits of history about each of the towns. So you've got Sassau there, a small town adjacent to the Sassau Monastery. The third oldest monastery in Bohemia. I wonder if they have Biscuit Town in here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I didn't know it opened up. Alright, okay. So we've got... Uh, what is that? Scalids? We've got Scalids there, and you guys can actually see that they have actually used images from real life. So that is the exact image of where the main high street of Scalids was. So that's what it looks like now. Oh my god, that's so cool! But they even have a full-on map! Oh wow! I would actually go and pick one of these up. You know they have like the kiosks with all the different tourist guides and stuff on? If they put this in one of those, I bet people would pick it up because it's really fascinating history. Look at the Church of Ushit, it's still there! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest, I would absolutely love to go here in real life and actually explore some of these places. Not only would it make for an absolutely amazing video, but it would just be really cool. So yeah, if you ever want the bailiff of Biscuit Town, then um, then hook me up. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I can show what's in there. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Because this isn't being released yet, so... Sorry. I so got you then, didn't I? No, it's not Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. That's coming in the next box. So next up we have... Oh, my face. Hello! Hello! <laughs> So next up, we have the official soundtrack. Now, if you have not bought the official soundtrack, or haven't at least listened to all of the songs on here, I highly, highly recommend it. This soundtrack is incredible. Throughout all my videos, and even in this video, I am using this exact soundtrack, so... Oh my god. I am so happy to actually have a physical copy of this, because... You can't just buy these, that is awesome! Kingdom Come Deliverance, out now! Uh, somebody scan that barcode, I don't know what that is. Somebody, somebody scan that and tell me what that is. Um, this appears to be a pamphlet telling me that a game called Kingdom Come Deliverance has been released. Hey, hey guys, I, I know, I, I've been doing videos on it for quite a while now. So inside it gives you a little bit of history of the game and uh, some of the features. Dungeons and no dragons. <laughs> I feel like this was given out as promotional stuff when the game was released, but it's still cool to have this because it's a piece of merchandise and that is always awesome. We have a full-size poster. Let, let, let's open this up and see what this is. They have the bailiff of Biscuit Town just looking very down because Barbara won't make bloody biscuits. God damn it, Barbara. So this is a full poster of the entire map of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Honestly, every now and again, I actually have to look up where certain places are. So this is going to come in really, really useful. I'm going to stick this up on my wall right above where my PC is so I can see it at all times. Do you ever struggle trying to close posters? <laughs> Oh, there you go. I did it. 
<laughs> Took me about 20 minutes, but there you go. Oh my god, it's Biscuit Town. Oh my god, I have a Biscuit Town mouse mat. That's incredible. Wow, that actually feels, that feels really quite, quite solid. Wow, awesome. Oh my god, I can't wait to use this. So anytime you see me in Biscuit Town, this is going to be where my mouse is laying on top of Biscuit Town while I'm in Biscuit Town. Biscuit Town Inception! So the time has come for the last item, and I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out right now! It is a bag of stuff! So we have ourselves a Kingdom Come Deliverance t-shirt! You can see Henry still depressed over Barbara and her terrible biscuit making! So yes, this is an XL, because, um, you'll see. Um, but... <laughs> Why I never show my body on video. Also, on the side of the sleeve here, you actually have the War Horse logo there. There you go, that's that's who sent it to me. So yes, you're probably wanting a video of me wearing it. Okay, here you go. First things first. Ah! Okay, and look. Oh my god. I got the logo. So this is a unisex, I think it's extra large because I, I'm massive, so. <laughs> no, <matter>. you're not. <laughs> So this is what it looks like done up. Do a twirl. Do a twirl. Do a twirl. Let's do have a, a look. Do a twirl. Yeah. Okay, fine. Are you ready? Oh my god, it's like one of these fashion beauty vlogging shows. Hi guys! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can put the hood up. Hi! Thank you to War Studios for sending this to me. That was terrible. I look horrible. Okay, a big thank you to my best friend Maddie for filming that. So here we have everything in one place. Oh my god. You know what? I am so, so grateful of everyone. Not just Warhorse for sending me this, because obviously Warhorse are amazing for sending me this, but for the people who watch all of my videos, you guys, if you weren't here, none of this would be a thing. I, I wouldn't be anywhere near the point of a company sending me merch, because that, that just wouldn't be a thing. So a major, major shout out from the Bailiff of Biscuit Town. Thank you for helping me get to this point and thank you for subscribing and I just love each and every single one of you major shout out to Toby and Rick and everyone else at Warhorse Studios just thank you anyway thank you so much for watching but now Henry Bailiff of Biscuit Town needs to return to his home